today we are talking about pinterest and uh, very few people know about it and very few people are users but let's uh, start with uh, this one so when you actually open an account with pinterest and according to your interest it would show some home feeds right so on your home page some sort of uh, uh, postings are already there and uh, those are called your home feeds and what is basically happening with pinterest as they say it is a catalog of ideas right for example i have created some pictures or i have created a video mainly let us talk about images right i have created an image right for example i have created this image right uh, this uh, background image for my powerpoint like let us take this image i used the certain tools right and i created this image and i am using this as background for my powerpoint i created this image right now this is a catalog of ideas not everybody is doing it right probably this idea came to me right and now i will do what with this image right so here when we were reading pinterest mainly comprises of pins right so we pin it down right on a board we take an image and pu we put it on pin right we pin it i mean this is a board for example a large board we have right and then in this large board what we do we take an image and pin it right so that is we take an image here and we pin it right pin it that is pinterest that is this is a physical environment but when you do this thing online this is pinterest right in pinterest you can create your pins right and your own boards on your board so this physical board you can create in pinterest right so that would be online board and then you can create these pins where you can pin some image the way i showed this uh, image i can pin right so this pinned image can come from where right this way we are trying to pin this image right this image right how where it will come from this image can come from a website so it may be already existing somewhere or it may be uploaded if you have created it you will upload it but you can also pin something which is already there on internet so pins saved from one users board can be saved on somebody some one else's board this process is known as repinning right if i have pinned something you can repin it also right so it this is like retweeting so it it increases the popularity boards are collections of pins now this is board right and suppose i will create all the backgrounds for example i will give it a name of backgrounds for your ppt backgrounds for your powerpoint presentation this is the name of the board and today i created this one right this one means the, the this uh, this whole uh, picture uh, which you see as background so this is background for uh, this ppt but i will create uh, tomorrow maybe another and then i will pin it right so there are many pins on my board right so you can create a pin and you can have many, uh, you can create a board and then you can have uh, many pins over there so board is a collection of various pins dedicated to a theme right so normally there is a theme for that right i have created a theme that these are all the backgrounds for your powerpoints and these are customed backgrounds i can say customed backgrounds right customed you are making your own backgrounds right and then similarly you can create the boards with the names of foods and all that and actually many people are having fun out there uh, when they create a board for uh, uh, food and recipes they pin their recipes and other people try those recipes and then they share their experience so this is a 
fun that is why it has been called catalog of ideas right you create a board maybe the name is for uh, food you create a pin maybe the, it is one of the recipes and others try it repin it so everybody is having fun learning as well as uh, fun is happening right so this way so boards with multiple ideas have uh, different sections right for example in food you can have various sections right and uh, further can contain multiple pins users can follow and unfollow other users as well as boards right which will show up on your home feed so that is the idea of pinterest so you have created pins you have put those pins on the boards and these are catalog of ideas others will refollow repin it others will try your ideas and others will share the experiences so this is fun way of learning so that is what it is right so for example in pinterest there is a board right so this board can be called a food board uh, maybe given a theme let us give it a theme of food so this board is for that so and then you pin a recipe over there right and then people click on it this recipe will open in a new tab and people will read it experiment with it try it and then share their experiences and then repin it so this is what is a pinterest main purpose so they always say that pinterest is catalog of ideas and it uh, uh, kind of uh, lets uh, you do it yourself so it is also a diy to do it yourself because instructions are given like people are trying recipes and other stuff so that is the purpose hope sorry so pinterest and uh, instagram are similar the only difference here is that uh, in pinterest you, we have themes we call them subject based boards right we can also call them theme based so there is a theme as we said food is a theme right maybe and whereas in instagram images are not uh, organized by theme rather they are or, uh, organized by date or time we should say so this is a personal profile shown for a pinterest uh, person so you can go to pinterest.com and create a personal profile there it shows here that this is the mia cobbler so it gives the profile name and then there is a picture also you can see that somebody has posted this picture and then they tell you location where this uh, uh, person is located vancouver british columbia in this example and uh, then it tells a few things about you right this is your uh, maybe uh, we should call it uh, main interest loves uh, shoes sushi and shopping kind of it tells right and then there how many boards you have and then how many pins you have made created so far and how many likes you have received how many boards or other people you are fall fall you follow uh, your followers are one so one person is following her and she is following five so kind of so all these things are there and then when you create a board all in knots so they here she, she is showing the knots various kinds of knots so here you create a board right and then there are pins on that right various pictures are pinned on that so this is uh, this is uh, about pinterest right so it is a catalog of ideas and people create boards they put uh, pins on there so pins gives instructions other people get inspired from it uh, they try it and then uh, they retweet uh, re repin it and then they share experience so that that can happen for anything so when we are talking of pinterest personal profile these things are very important in personal profile so these are features of your uh, pinterest account 
So create a widget, right? It allows account holders to include a button like this on your website or app, right? So if I have a website, right? Then in Pinterest, there is a feature. I will uh, mention the website name, right? For example, if I have a website www.skillswithmahesh.net, then I will mention it there and then I will create uh, an HTML tag, right? So I will click on that and then they will give me a code, right? The way we studied that there is a little bit of HTML programming, high hypertext markup programming, right? They give you one or two lines of code and that code you have to paste in your website. Go and paste it there. Copy from Pinterest website and paste it into your own website and then this uh, button will appear on your website follow on pinterest look how cool it is so i was creating html uh, for my website and i pasted one line of code from pinterest and this uh, button was created on my website now people can click it and they can uh, uh share uh, they can be a part of my ideas so they can follow my ideas and if i am promoting something for example if i am telling people how to create backgrounds for your powerpoints the one you show is see here then they will learn and they will practice and then they will learn how to create their own custom backgrounds for their powerpoints and there and the, everybody would like it differently right so then uh, this is something they will be doing it uh, the, themselves so there is a diy activity do it yourself based on my pins and uh, based on my suggestions of ideas bio i have to explain what i am in 160 characters or less topics Right. I can take some topics as we are saying that uh, Pinterest is very popular uh, uh, for recipes and others. Tries. Pins, the account holder has tried, right? made a recipe, did a DIY project, or he or she has uploaded a photo or added a comment. Right. So these, these are your tries, right? If I have given you something that, okay, how to make a custom made background for your PPT and you tried it the way I said on my uh, pin, then you can say, oh, I tried. This is the, how it came out. So you can upload that picture of the background that you made and you can share the comments of what went well and what was uh, 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 struggling or what uh, took you a lot of time to figure out and then the uh, next time people who are trying it again will pay attention to your comments right so board we have already seen right so it 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 has a theme so there is a central topic for that and it is the overall idea and then we can have certain pins uh, which are in the form of images or videos on that board right and pin we know is one of the image or video on the board so these things are important to understand when we are talking of pinterest right so these uh, and then uh, this is uh, how my profile looked at in pinterest so this uh, background that you are seeing i clicked here on create pin and i created this pin and then I uploaded this image because this image I have created. And then um, <clears throat> kind of, it is one of the pins, right? And people, uh, and if I want, I can create, a, this is pin. This one is a, one of the pins, right? I created it. But then I can create various boards if I like. And then I can try, right? And then there are certain topics which I can follow. So these are the major things. And here you can express yourself, what you are, right? And here, if you have a website, you can give the name of your website. Here is your name, right? And of course, your picture. So this way it would, uh, it would be a fun that you have an idea and you give clues and people try 
and you try other people's idea so that is the thing so it is learning by doing from somebody else's idea so business when you create a business pinterest account then definitely you are not promoting the hobbies right you are promoting something that you sell the products that you sell or the services that you provide right so that is what it is look so this is both educating the client and this is both selling right so it has a dual purpose you are a business you created a business pinterest account definitely you will like to sell what you are uh, what you are offering right uh, so this is an example of tom lee music right and as they have these instruments for sale like guitars pianos right and uh, then they create uh, boards for that right and then they put certain pins for that and they these pins are not just like the items that they say okay come to store this is the guitar you are getting no these are inspirational right okay they will mention some quotes uh, and then people get motivated towards playing those instruments right and uh, yeah even uh, me and my daughter sometimes plays uh, play guitar right we have it in our basement she plays it and i listen because we have one instrument kept in our basement maybe when we we feel lonely we go there and play right so this is like everybody wants some sort of uh, you know uh, uh, releasing of the feeling and uh, kind of something that they want to do beyond their professions right and this is the latest from tom lee music and this is their pinterest page business page right here right so pinterest.ca right slash tom lee music slash boards right so this is a canadian and then uh, if you see this is world class pianos go where the guitar takes you so there are 53 pins here uh, in go where the guitar takes you and uh, 26 pins in uh, world class piano right on these boards these are actually the boards right so and then uh, people go there and follow and they have a good 3300 uh, monthly viewers right mm -hmm. if that number of people come to your uh, pinterest website definitely some of them will land up in your store and purchase few things from you right so there is a dual purpose of motivating and inspiring uh, people as well as selling stuff so this is how people who are business people they will blend uh, uh, customer education with selling and it is a win win situation right you get motivation and information as a client and they get sales right so pinterest business page would look little different right so there will be a company name company's website would be there location would be there right and the company's profile picture or maybe logo would be there right and then all sort of boards which i showed for uh, this uh, tom lee music right here right so this is the page it looks little different from personal page and interesting thing is maybe i had it yeah so uh, there is a click there is a button in there if you create a personal page it, it the button is like this one this one and uh, this button is not shown here but it says convert convert and when you click there it converts your personal account to a business account and i i i am no where a business but i just for the purpose of trying it i converted it right and then my personal account became a business account and then then it looked like this right so the business account is little bit different this is how my business account looked right there are no impression no saves because i just uh, converted it for fun purposes right and this is how my personal account looked like when i showed it here this one this one is personal account so personal account looked different from business account its layout is different its uh, 
content is different right here you can see it and few other things for example in business account what you can do you can give ads right here there is a plus button here you can add pins right and you can also advertise so if you want to advertise then yeah they will ask for all this sort of information right so your business name your email address your phone number and where your street address is city postal code and what sort of payment method you will use because you want to advertise your business on pinterest by giving the ads right and this will start when you have a business account these things and then they will give you the statistics or analytics of your business ads right okay how much you spent how much impressions uh, were made and how much clicks were made like clicks means there is a link on pinterest was clicked and somebody went from pinterest to your website and on website you were able to sell something something like that right so here this is again a detail of your business page right and i had created one pin and if i want to promote it then they would ask it okay is there a url for that pin then you have to mention a url that yes this is the pin and this is url of that and then they will ask you things like okay what is your budget and uh, if you promote it how many potential audience will see your uh, advertisement and then you have to set up billing and all that which i showed so this is this uh, this sort of uh, offering comes only when you have a business account you can create a business account or you can convert a personal account into business account and then use pinterest to advertise your pins but definitely if you are a business your pins would be with regard to products that you are selling or with regard to the services that you are selling and for from pinterest people will go to your website and you will sell over there kind of so it is a win win situation you pay to pinterest for uh, advertising and uh, people come to your website and you sell and then you recover advertising cost you are able to promote your product and services take it that way so this is about promoted pins right they are regular pins the only thing is you just pay to make it seen by more people that's all and this is the whole process you have to follow for that uh, there are few questions uh, let's uh, go through these questions please so kind of this is one of the ideas right people use place pins uh, to promote business locations and to promote uh, fun ideas like showing the hometowns and favorite places of your employees right so we have heard about employee pricing but this is different right this is not employee pricing this is the places which these are the places which employees like and then they want to make it uh, visible to other people right so this is one idea fun idea to promote uh, fun sharing on pinterest these two are now the tricks to sell right so pinterest has created buyable pins right you can buy something and rich pins and what is the purpose here it tells us right buyable pins allow the consumers to buy the products you can purchase the products right so without leaving the pinterest right so if i have created a board and if i have put a a topic on there theme on there and i have pinned something and it is a buyable pin and then people can click on that and without leaving the pinterest site they can buy it so the functionality of shopping right uh, so picking up the service or product and paying online happens right on, on pinterest they don't even have to go to your website to purchase it right so these are buyable pins and uh, it is interesting that this is not an easy functionality and uh, pinterest has to use these uh, uh, these uh, uh, 
uh, e-commerce platforms to create buyable pins, right? For example, uh, name of Wix is not there yet, right? We created our website on Wix, but we are not sure about it. Shopify, uh, Magento, IBM Commerce, uh, Demandware, Big Commerce. Big Commerce is a basically Australian uh, c company, but uh, that is now uh, becoming very popular in e-commerce area, right? If you create your websites because you learned it in previous course, strategic web design, you learned it, right? How to create a website. If you are creating it with these ones, rather than Wix, then they will give you a code, right? And they will create a code for you, like HTML line, we know one, and you can uh, paste that in your website, and then uh, that pin will become the buyable pin, right? So that website will give you a pin, uh, I mean HTML code, and uh, then you paste that code in your pin and then pin will become a buyable pin where people will click and shop directly there in Pinterest. So you, if you are in Pinterest platform and uh, you are selling right there, you, the people even don't need to go to your website, right? So without leaving the Pinterest site. And, uh, but you have to use these technologies. Not every technology sports Bible pin. Rich pins are just the pins which will make it information rich. Information rich means you can add more information, right? So you can expand uh, the content. So it allows you to write more content, more information. So this is these two are important pins. Now the question arises. This is a, that you have to now you are thinking of making a campaign, right? You are thinking of making a marketing campaign, right? And you are thinking to make it on Pinterest, right? So, I mean, and you are now promoting it through pins, right? Promoting it through pins means you have created a business account, you have entered all your credit card information and business information, the location of your business, and you are ready to promote your pins, right? And you are paying to promote your pins. But after all, what would be your objective if you do that? What kind of two objectives you will have? The answer is here, right? To boost the engagement, right? It means more and more people uh, come to your pins and engage there. They try it, uh, what you say over there, and then they re-pin it. So engagement increases. So engagement does not lead to sale, but definitely it leads to uh, uh, more awareness, right? So more people engage with your pins, more awareness it creates. And second is that, okay, you can provide some links in the promotable pins where people get uh, uh, transferred to your website. So it can create a website also. Uh, it can create uh, more traffic to your website. But buyable pins can directly increase your sales also. But many people don't know how to do that, but there are certain technologies to directly increase the sales volume uh, from Pinterest by including uh, the code from those e-commerce making website platforms like big commerce. So interesting thing is Pinterest is not just a website, not just a simple website, right? So it is, it is actually one of the search engines for uh, your images, right? So if you want that, okay, I have a, an image, I have created a pin on a particular board uh, in, on Pinterest, right? But you want that, okay, my image should be searchable, right? And so that even people don't know uh, my board, the, even if people uh, don't know uh, my company name, still they should reach my image. That is search engine optimization, 
right? Then you have to add keywords to your uh, pins. And uh, when, uh, if you add keywords, then the uh, thing is that when other people are trying to search something, and then your, uh, your image will appear in their search result. That is what will happen, right? So the thing is that at the time of uh, pinning, just add the keywords and it will become search engine optimization friendly. We call it SEO friendly. So that is, uh, that is uh, about pins, right? And then they have mentioned here uh, that they, there is some research which they say that the best time to post a pin is Saturday morning. Maybe this is uh, the platform where traffic is more on uh, uh, weekends. Maybe that is the reason, right? So if traffic is more on weekends, they uh, promote, uh, they suggest that you should post your pins on Saturday morning and website analytics they do, right? Pinterest. So if you advertise uh, the, through Pinterest, then they will provide all the analytics like, okay, how many people went from Pinterest to your website and uh, how many clicks were made and all sort of information pieces they will provide. Okay, which geographical location people came from, what was gender, what was the number, how much it costed you and all those analytical information will be provided because uh, you are advertising through Pinterest.